So I got to search to see what's going on. I'm logged on here. I'm logged on. I ain't supposed to log on. That's false. Heard you loud and clear, sir. <laughs> oh, you can hear it back in here. Huh? I can hear him through there. You can hear him. You. You. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Who was that? Good night. 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 tonight's show about? I said about single mother. Her baby daddy was locked up. Would you consider her to be a single mom? Yes. For that time period, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give her the call number so she can call her. Yeah, and tell us how you feel to be a single mother when the man is incarcerated. Yes. Visiting the penal institution. Okay. So we're back. And I'm happy and I'm excited. Little news going on besides the uh, riots. Tonight yeah, is the draft. That's all you need. Seven o'clock. Yeah. We're trying to get Mary Odin. Everybody know that name. Well, look at look at it. That's what happens when you got Apple products. <laughs> you just start without nothing. <laughs> you see, I was on it though. Like, what the heck? So what else is really interesting that happened in the news? There, there was a young gentleman today that hit Temple student. He turned himself in. He was 18 oh, years old. Yeah, with a learner's part. permit. Wow. So that's like the third deadly crash in that's, life. That's, weeks. that's, that's wow. People need to learn how to drive, right? They just need to get a damn license plate. Stop cussing on the radio. She might say what the damn way you cuss. Right? Okay. She said it look good. <laughs> Might drop a D bomb there. <laughs> no. Because I tell her, I see this thing getting hurt. Like, yo, what you doing? Oh, cuss it. It's not a cuss word. No, well, she said. Okay. I'm saying so. So then she, hills and valleys shouldn't be curse words either. Hills and valleys. Yeah. <laughs> Dams, hills, valleys, lakes, ocean, seas. None of them is cuss words. I, like, since we having these crazy thoughts, I got a thought that just, I don't know where it came from. Pop it out. Do they still make next tells? I guess because yeah. I heard a, a chirp. Little chirp. Party, party. That's why I'm like, somebody got somebody, a next tell up in this. Do you remember how they used the church on the back of the bus? <laughs> Yo, no, they used to we were at the rock. Just all of a sudden, you sitting there, somebody right. pops through. Chirping. You imagine how many people are got single caught. now? Because they got the chirp. <laughs> Wow. Think about it. We're gonna do a segment. Was your relationship ruined because of next cell chirps? It was call us at 263-368. No, 267. <laughs> I was reading the number, but I got I, I, I need to put my glasses on. 267-368-5328. If your relationship was ruined and you are now a single person because of a next cell, call us and tell us your story. You're interested in hearing whatever next up with your life. Yeah, we got some news stories. 
We're gonna run into some news now. Yeah. Let's run into some news stories. All right. That boy good. That boy good. <laughs> that boy good. <laughs> so I was reading the other day um, in a couple of news sources, and then this story popped up twice, and I found it to be really interesting. Um, there was an Ohio woman who learned that her coworker is her biological mother. Dang. Now, the wow. mother worked there for 10 years, and the daughter worked there for four years. They work on a television, a privately owned television show. So back in the hometown where they come from in Ohio, um, the, the uh, Department of Health decided to release the records for any child born January 1st, 1964 and September 8th, uh, 1960, 1996. Well, she got hers in the mail. Mother's name was on it. And she said, work with a lady name. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, they called and she Facebooked the name and, you know, searched for this woman. And she said, one day she went to work and said, hi, Francine, what's her name? I told your name, man. <laughs> and she said, how are you? She said, I'm good. And they talked for a little while. She went home. And then the company that's helping them find their lost mothers called this same woman. So we think we found a daughter. Now the backstory behind it was the mother at 14 was pregnant. She was sent to live in a group home until she turned 15, she had the baby. She never got to name her daughter. So she had no idea what her daughter's name was. So she couldn't find her. So can you imagine for the last four years, you work, the woman worked at the front desk. So every time you came in, you saw your mom and didn't know it was your mom. So shout out to all the people in Ohio who's uh, making these dreams and things come true. That's what's up. Because back in the day, we did shift kids off. Females that got pregnant. Send them down south. Whoever met them when they got off the train, that was your auntie and your uncle. And that's how they lived. So shout out to them. I'm glad the reunion happened. What a coincidence. They had been working at the same job for at least four years. The mother was there 10. And she was there for four. So four years together. That's uh, that's very interesting. Wow. That's, I mean, I wonder. That's like that Oprah story. When she met what, a sister or something like that. Mm -hmm. she found her. Can you imagine that? You find in somebody that's your brother or sister sitting in the office. Is Oprah, right? I want to find that. Oprah, you're my sister, and then we just gonna take that. I mean, that's like wow. I wouldn't even want a test. We don't even need a test. So you ain't don't worry about it. this. Is my, this is just say you are. Look, just put me on your journey. You know anything Oprah say or do, all of a sudden, just you mention know, my name, Oprah. Yeah, that's all. See, I think Mark Five is my son. Just let me know so I can record it and I can play it on my Facebook page. Yep. And that, that, all of a sudden, everybody going to want to That is your song. They're going to want to listen to open conversation and they're going to want to come to Miss Dark Child Comedy Show. Da, 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 da. Oprah uh, son will be there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to touch it. And you get a car. And you get a car. Mm. <laughs> you get glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And you. You, you get sound effects. You want to see, you want, you want to see me uh, start watch out. Uh, see? Watch this. Apple Watch drop. Come <laughs> on with that bull crap on the 24th. Oh, that's what it came out April 24th. Yeah. It is back ordered. People will not be able to get the allegedly get this watch here thing till the middle or to the end of June. No, wait, Why would I want to buy it and can't get it? I have a, a need for immediate gratification. I need it now. That's yeah. Because by the time you get that, well, you, I ain't gonna want it. Right? What you do? Walk around with a receipt? I got the Apple Watch. Take it on your wrist. I got the Apple Watch. Take it on your wrist. Take the receipt to your watch. Right? And I like the 
I'm balling. <laughs> I got the Apple Watch. It just didn't come out yet. That's crazy. Yeah, shout, shout out to um, all the new shows, too, that's coming up. I heard we got a four or five new shows starting. Slew of shows up. Yeah. Females making moves, too. Power like moves! Four or five of them is female shows. Power moves! So, you know. One of them, I think, was here. Was that last week? She came oh in? yeah, she came up. Yeah. that one? Just no, no, that that was uh, shy. That was Monica's personal assistant getting ready for the party. That's the one that was on OC two. The last, uh, the falling of OC two. The last four or five shows. Did he call it the falling <laughs> of OC two? That was on Tuesday. So yeah, she stepped in and helped me out for last year. So. That's cool. So dum dum moments. Since we dumb dumb. a little behind, but dum dum moments. You got any dum dums you wanna? Yes. I know you do. To so all you folks that put on them flower dresses, and them and the the backs out and the toes out shoes, that was your dum dum moment for the day. Mm-hmm. Why? Knowing it's gonna go back down to sixty. Yeah, they said yeah. Dum dum. Yeah, they definitely said uh, the temperature is supposed to drop back down. I don't want to call this young man a dumb dumb, but the thought just came to my mind. They said that the crime is not committed. Talking about the hit and run. Mm-hmm. When you do it, nine times out of ten, most of the time he said, the newscaster said, it's generally the person's fault, not the driver. But leaving the accident, it's an automatic mandatory three years. Three mm-hmm. to five from leaving the scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. So you may not have been guilty, but if you leave, you guilty. So you basically leave and now it's more now it's a crime. crime. Three to five. Four to mag. So if you're leaving, I hope nobody's leaving seeing the crimes. But if you are, that's a dumb dumb moment. That's a whole dumb dumb as long as it took you to go away. If you was going thirty minutes, that was a whole dumb dumb thirty minutes. Stay. Yeah, that's but you know what? To bounce off of that about the human thought pattern. Sometimes we think we do some stupid stuff. We do. Like the Baltimore situation happened, right? And guess what I started watching this week? The Wire. <laughs> I don't know what made, now, it made me you think. really putting <laughs> peas in a pot, <laughs> ain't you? I started watching The Wire on the third episode. <laughs> Look, okay. That was like, that's an interesting, and it's funny how you go back and watch something and you catch things that you missed the first and second time. That's a real good series, man. So if so if when the airplane had to emergency land in Snakes Philadelphia, in did you go back and watch start watching <laughs> Snakes on the Plane? <laughs> no, when a couple people did He did, he watched the airplane. Is, look, the airplane. Well, so you're gonna have me start sending shots. Yeah, when people start doing snakeish things, I'll snakeish look back. things. Okay. Snakes on the plane. <laughs> Oh, Mark man. Five is crazy. He yeah, go back and watch why. I'm trying to I'm wonder if that building is still standing. I wonder if they did. Yeah, but they said the I flip place know. hasn't been fixed up since the last round. But just like, how do people let this city go down so far? Like, like I don't know. I yeah. think I think once it start getting close to, you know, that type of situation, as far as crime is really over. See, that's why I couldn't be in government. Once it get bad to the point that it's like it is, I'm firing everybody in government that run the city. Mm. From the mayor all the way down, everybody getting fired. And we're going to basically sit down and reorganize the whole government, you know, as far as when it comes to the city, as far as the political part of the city. Because that means everybody ain't doing their job. That's right. Think about it. If it's everybody was doing their job, and you know, they know where the drug infested area is at. They know where people need help at. But you're giving people raises and different things, and you're not doing anything that is really the foundation of mankind mm-hmm. is people. Right. But instead, you're worried about corporations and companies, and, and now things get haywire. You spend, what they spend? 80000 No, I think it was more than that. I forgot the number, but I think it was like 300000 or something they gave. They got a big jersey for sending those police officers from Jersey right. to Baltimore. I know it was a high number. I heard it earlier. But my thing is if you invested that money in the first place to the community, you wouldn't be going through what you're going through because you spend more money in the education, right. spend more money in the child cares and different things right, right. that make children, you know, give them something to do instead of right. doing things that 
mothers wouldn't have to walk up and smack their kid upside the head. Did <laughs> see, you see you that? Yeah. I love her. Did you see her? I love her. Now look, if they out in Baltimore and y'all gonna do some kind of crime to hold that woman accountable, that's what all the mothers need to be out there. Not my son, he not gonna be out here tearing up my she yeah, told you know him up, pulled his mask hood off his face, he told him I, I saw somebody post, I don't know if it was an open conversation, but they post that they felt some type of way about that mother doing that because um if but they you know what i got mad at first when i first that's why it's always good to read the whole story because when he put that up i almost went and post on it like man shut sit your right you know but then he said because if parents was to do what they supposed to do from the start then you wouldn't have to worry about going out there your child wouldn't get into that like that's not more so true yeah i mean I, it's a, a two ways two right because kids be kids at no, no matter, matter what. what right you know because i know my mom may do certain things but, you know, and I went a certain direction to the streets and started hustling and stuff. My mom kicked me out. Straight up. Get out. And I looked at her like she was crazy. When I came back, she had a trash bag on the step. I'm like, I'm not joking. You want to hustle? You ain't going to hustle living here. And it made me think about it like, yo, hold, hold up. And it takes a lot for a parent to do that because, mm -hmm. you know, we love our children and don't want to do certain things because we're scared if we put them out that they're going to really get deeper into the streets, but nobody knows your child better than you do. Right. You know, so I just wanted to jump on that. Cause so, it, no, it, I don't it, think, I think she, she, I think she did a wonderful job. And yeah. say, one time they said they was going to prosecute her. Um, good yeah, luck. Started, no, right. Right. Yes. That would have started a whole nother. Right. That's her child. And that's the part that irritates the heck out of me is that, you know, um, you know, I do a lot of internet search, just watching different things. I try to right. stay away from the crazy stuff which is hard when you're on social media, but I saw, uh, I think it was a preacher that was sitting there with uh, Tara Smiley or something, and she said that the, the way she broke the system down was crazy. She said that they put the system in that the child, you can basically go to jail for hitting your child. Mm -hmm. Then what they do is, after your child go to school, they don't want to listen to you, so of course they don't want to listen to the teacher. Then they get kicked out of school to make a long story short. They get kicked out of school and they go to the streets and they get locked up. And it's a cycle that goes on. Because if a parent can't discipline his child, the child, who's going to discipline? If you can't discipline a child that came out of your womb, then who else are they going to listen to? Because if they don't listen to you, this how she broke it down, this came to me. If they don't listen to you, then they go to school, don't listen to the teacher. Then they don't, you know, to go in the street, they aren't going to listen to anybody if they don't listen to you. So if the child, the teacher's scared of the child, right? And the, the, the child's not scared of the teacher, the teacher's not scared of the principal, then it goes down, basically. You mm -hmm. say that government, I see, I see. government basically has to say so. Right. Because they tell they tell the principal what to do because the principal is scared of the government. Right. And the teacher's scared of the principal. Then the child's not scared of the teacher so that means the basically they don't fear they right. don't fear and nobody children nowadays don't fear anybody so if they don't fear anybody and the teacher fear the child then who's there to discipline because yeah. the parent can't do it because if you discipline your child and kick them behind then the government trying to come in and say that yo you're not supposed to this and that we're taking your child then they put them in the system yeah and then they put them in the system and then as they put them in the system, that's a money thing now. Everybody knows more so when the child goes into the system, prison for adopted mm -hmm. type thing. It's about money. Seven Not seven all seven of them, because I know we got we got parents out here like Miss Dark Child right, right. that really is not into it about, you know, if I adopt the children. It's right. not about money. It's more so about the passion of your grow up kid. to be, you know, a, a good thing to society and to the community. So I just wanted to put that out there because it was on my mind. That's my news story. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot going on in the city, the state, the place, and and all. I'm excited. I think the Eagles are going to have a great season. Um, so. I've got a lot of faith in Chip Kelly. I think his head is in the right place. I just need him to be focused um, to what he's really doing right now. Just be focused. Um, 7 o'clock, so we got 30 minutes. Let's go Eagles. Then you see last night in Baltimore, that was the first game in history that a game has been played without any fans. I saw that. 
So that you was imagine a how much money was uh, lost. Lost a lot of revenue. That whole See, they don't want to call it money. They want to say we lost a lot of revenue. We lost money. Then they got all the stuff. Now, this, this, this guy give me mustard for those things. Shea butter. Shea butter. <laughs> like mustard. Yeah, <laughs> lime shea butter. He no, wanted to be sexy and smooth and shea butter. That's lotion, bro. I thought she was carrying mustard in your cookbook. Shea butter. <laughs> well, let's take a break real quick. What is it? 6.34 p.m. Yeah. Third Manny third. Strong mix? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's get that out the way. Manny Strong did a breezy mix. Shout out to Manny Strong. I got a Manny! Video. I'm going to give y'all his address so y'all can go get y'all car detail while he DJ. You ever see it? DJ and car uh, detail. <laughs> I don't see how that's going to work. Yo, you, got, you ain't see the picture. I want to see him jigging and wash. Jigging and wash. Got, got, wash. The turntables and stuff set up outside his detail as well. Okay, I can, I can live with that. But I can't Where see him jigger jigger. I'm gonna find I'm gonna get an address out as soon as we come back. <laughs> get to <till> Dennis and <laughs> Door presents open conversation here on Heat 100 Radio. We'll be right back. What? Yeah, that's crazy. I looked at his picture, I said, yo, what's going on, mate? Hey. I said, yo, did he Hey lady? Set, Hi. How did are he you? set the term table so stuff like that? How you feel? I'm happy you're here. You gotta go to work or something? No, I just got out of work. Oh, I'm like, you can't. That's terrible. <laughs> like, I do She's like, yo, they take too many pictures. They got cameras. So same spot, taking them badges. <laughs> 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 I can't. We use streaming live. Say hi to our uh, watchers. Look, right there, the camera up. Oh. Right here. The camera there, too, but this the live camera right there. Because <laughs> I got to tell Simply D, I'll be watching us on uh, Ustream. Simply D, you're looking at the camera on the computer. I'm like, is he like talking to the computer and the camera's up there? Uh, you see it? Uh, I got to make sure everybody's like, yo, stop talking to the computer, looking at yourself. Thank you, here. Thanks. So I'm tired. You too. I'm not here to just, I don't know, sleep is not my friend this week. What's going on, lady? You met the man? No. Stephanie, Stephanie, I mean, you know this guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the first time he was here. And this building? Oh, she didn't come to the workout one. I, right. I came to the first one. Yeah, the fourth and all yeah, they don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. So, how many years you got in chasing badges? Four years. Wow. Four years. What's next for you? Um, I'm going to look for four So, four years. I guess I'm tired. Four years. <laughs> 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 That's what I thought you said. <laughs> like, she said, I'm retired after four years. Yeah. They only work for someone else. A lot of people, what's crazy is a lot of people say that. So go to the airport. That's why I was going to get security there. You know what? My uncle was going to get a contract there. But he never got back from the song. I work for the airlines. Yeah, a uh, friend of mine, she only get paid $10 an hour. That's the thing. She get paid $10, but she gets benefits. She gets the money passes. Yeah. Tell her definitely yell at me. I'll buy it. Mm-hmm. So, 200 She was telling me, because I asked her, she said uh, she just got married. And she, only, yeah, only her and her husband go fly for free. And my kids. She's killing him with this. Yeah. I'm very well. I don't know if he's part time. Is that he uh, applied for free with part time? He can't. Can you, can you work there part time? I brought him my money to do that. I need that. I need that. I'm not like it. Ain't got no more hours in the day, bro. I mean, Still working out and everything. Yeah, but I've been—I ain't gonna lie—I've been three weeks off because I just moved. 
So that's my work hour. Oh, yeah. Where did you move to? Mayfair. How is it? I like that's it. Why. I like it. From where? Um, well, I used to live in Honey Park. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. Honey Park is a good well, yeah. The only thing you do get a lot of new people. Yeah. 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 But it's good though. Like, I don't never want anybody. Really. It's quiet. Yeah. My daughter likes that. Yeah. That's the whole uh, acting. Oh, she was doing ballet. Yeah, she's doing good on that. Yeah. But she actually recorded herself. Yeah. She records herself. She remember the song and she sings it without me being there. Wow. And I'll be popping on my laptop and it's a video right there waiting for me. Wow. I'm like, oh my God. So I'll be posting on my YouTube page. But I got to make her a YouTube account. Okay. Just a little post on the stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's doing a whole uh, makeup. She's only five doing a makeup tutorial, but I was like, you call that a makeup tutorial with your eyeliner all the way over here? Uh oh, <laughs> uh -oh. that is it's too cute. Yeah. I saw that. She hey, has, red, red, I think. The lips is too cute. Yeah. That was the lipstick. She yeah. had red lipstick, and it was like smeared all the way here. Then it was the second time where I came home, and she had black eyeshadow. <laughs> And I said, you think you look cute? She was like, I look good. I look good. <laughs> it's like somebody punched in her face. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> wow, that is too cheap. Yeah. That is too cheap. I just finished leaving with my mom. I was like, oh, she's like, good luck, man. I love you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so she liked it in the neighborhood. Yeah. A lot of kids up there. A lot. Yeah. And we live right, like literally the right near the park. So I could just walk. Right. She'll be in school next year. You she just turned five. So she says to be like, uh, no more babysitters. No more. Well, my mom, just a little my mom's gonna be have to take her to school because I work in the morning. And sometimes it's like I think it's both for everybody. When you sit at work and you're so tired. As soon as you get off and you go to eat tonight. Yeah, all this energy. That's how I was at I was at work, I was wired. <sighs> I went home for the radio, I sat there for a little while. Mm -hmm. I said, uh oh, I'm dipping. Let me get up. Because now I'm dipping. He got he gave you body cream. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no, I, I don't know. Oh, body cream. Oh, I'm trying to just log off so I can log on. It's morning. called Lucky too. You gave me Lucky. Lucky. So what's that again, baby? G O. So with your nails pointed like that, they don't get in the way. What's that? I had a, I had them sharp like a little. Them and another. But I had a corporation. I had two. Oh, that's why. 